Hi, my name is Alexandra Pelosi. Our film is Fall to Grace. It's about former Governor Jim McGreevy and his life after the scandal in which he was publicly, uh, what would you say? How do you call that? Train wreck. Train wreck. Sort of what would you do if at the age of, what age was it? 44. Your whole life fell apart and you had to be reborn. What would you do with your life? And how did you tell Jim that you wanted to make this film? Jim, how did I tell you that I wanted to make this? I don't think I ever told him. I think I'm telling him now for the first time. <laughs> exactly. We up, had to this, up to this point, I didn't realize there was a film being made. But it was great. And, and Alexander, right now I have the privilege of working with women in prison. And many people, I think, all of us, myself included, would drive by prisons and jails and not look at the concrete or the barbed wire. When Alexandra said she not only wanted to look at my life and what I've done or not done, but most importantly, look at the women with whom I work, this was a way of showing America through the largesse of HBO and Alexandra's talents that people can reclaim their lives. So I particularly want to thank Alexandra, who spent years uh, behind bars with these women, looking at what they're doing and looking at their hopes and their dreams and their aspirations. So when you heard that Alexandra, she has a reputation of delving deeply into people's lives, which is... I do? Yeah. I have a reputation of delving deep. If you, you had do. known that I had a reputation for delving deep into people's lives, would you have let me come follow you around? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. You know, Alexandra doesn't have a big camera production crew. It's her, a handheld camera. And I think it preserved the intimacy of the moment with a woman in the jail, with myself, and that helped to make a film, a documentary that I think was so impactful. And is there something that you really hope people take away from Alexander? A message? He's a recovering politician. I'm a recovering journalist. I spent the best years of my life as a news producer. And news is all about the planes that crash. And we're all obsessed with the, the worst moment in people's lives. But what's more interesting is what he did after the fall and how he managed to take the worst moment in his life and turn it around and use it for such good to help so many people. He's so much more interesting as a real human after, as a recovered politician, than he was when he was the governor with all the power and the prestige. After people- I did wear better suits then. <laughs> That's not so bad. Not so bad. The sweater has a But you're probably the only guy at Sundance wearing a suit, which kind of... Exactly. Have you seen any guys in suits at Sundance? No, 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 no exactly. No.